A gym, a tire center, and an urgent care center could soon find a home on Macon's Bass Road. Macon Bid Planning and Zoning approved those businesses today. It comes on top of even more development planned for the area. And of course, that means more traffic. Ashland Webb joins us live with more on the growth and how it will be how it will affect driving on Bass Road. Yes, Lori, an undoubtedly high traffic area. Over 12,000 cars pass through here daily on Bass Road, according to the Georgia Department of Transportation. That's four times the amount of cars they counted back in 2010. Google Earth shows just how much Bass Road has grown over the decades, from an exit off I-75 of pine trees and a few houses to now a bustling road full of stores, fast food restaurants, medical offices, luxury apartments, and more. But with more business on the way means even more traffic. It's pretty heavy, not going to lie. Sometimes it's really hard to get out. So it's really like kind of fend for yourself and hopefully you get out without getting hit. And you're looking at hundreds of cars trying to get to just a few places on a two lane road. And at in rush hour, it's impossible to move. For years, county officials have said Bass Road needs to be wider than just two lanes. A project between the county and the State Department of Transportation is supposed to be in the works to expand a one mile stretch. The road would go from two lanes to four from New Forsyth Road to Providence Boulevard. But it looks as though that's nowhere near breaking ground. Back in 2019, the state said it could be 2026 until we see any construction. Neither the State Department of Transportation nor Macon Bibb County could give an update on the project timeline. But Ray Lockett, a Wesleyan student who drives the stretch often, says something needs to be done now. We need another light. <laughs> that's just, I feel like that's just what we're going to need. The sheriff's office says the only thing they can do is say drive safe and if you can, avoid the area. From our perspective, until the road is widened or whatever their plans are in the future, just, I think we just ask people just be aware of that and drive carefully. Again, we got few details on when that expansion project will begin. So while Bibb County waits on a traffic solution, more developments are moving to Bibb County, including a Taco Mac, a Dunkin Donuts, and also a bank. That's on top of what was approved today, which includes a gym, tire center, and urgent care. Reporting live in Macon, Ashland Webb, 13 WMAZ News. Thanks a lot, Ashland. The expansion project costs nearly $35 million. More than $5 million is expected to come from Bibb County's Splost Fund.